Hello, let's do some fun with the Fisher equation. Okay, so the Fisher equation is quite useful. It is an equation that helps us to estimate real growth rates. So what it is, is the real percent is equal to the nominal, nominal means without being adjusted to inflation, uh, minus the inflation rate. So really I'm just adjusting the nominal rate to uh, inflation. So formula here, is this, let's make that a little bit bigger. So we've got the formula right there. This is known as the Fisher equation uh, in economics, but it's very useful. So say you got a 10% raise and you were super happy about it. Um, and, whoops, I did that wrong actually. So you got a 10% raise and you were super happy about it, but you knew there was a 7% inflation rate in the country you would really, in real terms, you would really only be receiving a 3% raise, which is better than zero, but uh, not quite as good as the 10%. Okay, so let's figure this out for countries. So we've got the nominal GDP growth rate, the non-inflation adjusted growth rate, minus inflation gives us the real growth rate. So in this particular one, we know that this is one, we don't know inflation, inflation will be X, uh, and we know that this is five, so you could rearrange everything if you wanted to, um, or you could just say, what does this have to be in order to make that one? It has to be four, okay? Next one, the next country that's made up here, nominal growth rate is 2%, minus inflation is 0%, that's just two. Okay, these aren't supposed to be hard. Uh, the C country, what is the nominal rate when we know the inflation and we know the growth rate? Okay, so we don't know nominal, we'll, we'll call that X, minus the inflation rate, which is seven, and we know that the real rate is four, X, just move that over there, X is 11. So 11% 11 growth comes with 7% inflation. Uh, that's not that great. The D country is 5% uh, then minus one, so it's five minus minus one. So it's like it, it deflation adds to the real rate because people's purchases now go further and that's 6%. And then uh, nominal, uh, this has to be uh, four because seven minus four equals three. Okay, and that's how to calculate nominal growth rates, but you can also use that for nominal interest rates or nominal wages. As a bonus, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, let's do real GDP growth rate for 2011. So the formula for this is the percent change formula. So it's new minus old divided by old times 100. Okay, so 2011, so we're going 2000, let me type this so it's easier, 13, whoops, too big, 13299.1 minus 13063 divided by 13063, because that's the old, the old value. Okay, and it's implied that we're going to multiply that by 100. So it's whatever the difference is. 13299.1 minus 13.063 is 236.1 divided by 13.063. And that is 1.8%, which is one of these answers. It is that one. That's how to calculate the change in the real GDP growth rate as a bonus.